the grain bin is up. It's all ready to go. Now it's our turn to do our part to turn this into a living area. And this is what we're going to create to make a VRBO or short-term short -term rental. They left a the hole there where we can put a doorway and be able to get in and out. Otherwise, it would all be locked in and we'd have to crawl in over the top. So today I'm going to show you how my husband, he cut out the doors, the windows, but I want to show you how to got a radius at the top of the door and show you a real easy way and it doesn't take anything fancy, no fancy tools to accomplish it. That's Dora and Winky. They decided that they want, wanted to get their faces in the picture. So there you go. All right. So here he is working on the door. And basically he cut it out with a steel saw. Um, but one of the things that we really wanted to stress to you for this part was how he braced it. Because if he were to just cut out the hole for the door and the windows and just plug them in like you would on a normal build, then you're not going to have um, the sides could collapse. So you can see here in this video where he has actually installed angle iron and he bought one and a half inch and these are he actually put them 10 feet high from the floor up to 10 feet so he brought he bought 20 foot sections and cut them in half these are next door to both doorways and then they're also supporting every window it's just to make sure that the sides of the tin can don't collapse and it gives it more support Here's a picture going to the rear door. What we're going to do is add an addition out the back area um, where we're going to put a big kitchen in. We decided we wanted our green bin house to be able to hold a family of up to 10 people. So that they, so the kitchen's going to be really big so that they can sit down and eat together and have a real long farm table and actually enjoy being together. So we're making it nice and roomy. Um, you will see that as we go along. But going into that kitchen area, it's going to have this radius. And I, I show you near the end how you can do this very easily. But there you go. You can see all of the angle iron on the sides. Now, we had to buy black windows. We had to order those. He, My husband spends a lot of time sitting on Facebook Marketplace and things like that, looking for materials that people have, because a lot of times people will do jobs and then they overbuy and they're always selling them. So he did find windows for the addition off of Facebook Marketplace, but we found that we did have to order them and pay top dollar from Menards <laughs> for the black windows. And um, every window, there's going to be four on the bottom and four at the top. And each of those will have the angle iron going next to them for the support as well. So every single one of them will have that support. We did have to order the windows early. So pay attention to that as you're planning your job, as you're going, you know, for each step. It kind of overlaps. There's times when you have to order some materials and it might take a month to come in. So always have something else that you can be working on. So that's kind of what we do. Um, Again, we're not hiring a big company to come in. We're doing it ourselves. So that seems to work. Now, I, some people might think, well, why don't you just go order everything at once and have it all delivered? We did that when we built our house. And honestly, it was nerve wracking for the simple fact that a lot of the materials sat outside because we didn't have anywhere to store them. And then when you go to find something, it isn't like you can just walk over and pick it up. So we're doing this one piecemeal. We're doing it one step at a time and just ordering it as we need it. And I'm finding, I think he is too, we're finding that it's just a lot more relaxing. And um, you don't have to think of everything at once, just each part. All right. I did a short video on my camera and on a piece of paper to show you how you can make a radius. Obviously, you're going to be doing it over a door, over a window anywhere. You can do it on a wall. And then after that, I'm going to show you some pictures of radiuses that we put throughout our house. I think you'll find that it's fun to do once you know how to do it. I want to show you how to make a radius You're going to, on anything. It can be a doorway, it can be a window, it can be a hallway, and it's very easy to do. You don't need any special tools. I made this a little wider so that my diagram or example could show up better. But the first thing you want to do is measure across the top and get the exact middle. Now, I don't have the exact middle. I'm just eyeballing it. But you want it exactly in the middle. So across all the way is your diameter, and now we're making a radius from that dot to the end, okay? And then you're gonna cut a piece of string exactly that length. Mine's just a tiny tad bigger. Again, I'm gonna show you again with the actual pencil, but I wanna give you an idea. And you're gonna like take one end of your string or your yarn and you can nail it in there. And then the other part is gonna be attached to a pencil or something to mark. And then you're just gonna swing it around and draw the radius. So basically what happens is 
you're just drawing it with a piece of string. Now you're like, okay, but that didn't work because <laughs> I, I didn't have anything attached. But basically then that will make a radius. Let's do it again with a piece of paper and a pencil and, it, and you can actually see how it works. All right, same example, but this time I'm using an actual pencil. So I'm gonna find the center, which is going to be roughly here. Now remember, you need to measure it and find the exact center. So you're making a radius out of the diameter. And then you're gonna tack down uh, cut the string from here to here, which I've already done, and this is um, attached to my pencil. Okay. Then you're going to put it here, and then watch what happens. It's going to come around, and there's your radius. Again, it's not perfect because you're doing it for a door or a window, um, but that gives you an idea. And then you're just going to mark. We had a mark it. My husband did on the metal, and obviously it was a little bit more complicated for him doing it up on the wall and everything. But that's basically how you make a radius. He has made radiuses in our house all over the place because he said it's fun. But let me let me show you some pictures of that. And basically, that's all you need is a piece of string, a marker, or pencil, and you've got it, and a, and a measuring device.